Hello, hello, welcome to Wednesday Yoga. Let's see if anybody shows up tonight. Hello, greetings, welcome. Is everybody ready for some yoga? Hi, Kaya. Hey, Sharon, welcome. Welcome, welcome. I hope everybody's doing well. Oh, I missed you guys too. Hey, Teresa. I, for one, have not done too much yoga since uh, the last time we've met. Just a few few classes here and there. Um, have you guys been doing yoga? <laughs> I know Kathy said she did uh, one of the older classes. Yeah, so I hope you guys are well. I did hear that Bayless is not going to be open for at least the first quarter. So it looks like we're online for a while longer, unfortunately, because I hate not being able to talk to you guys and hear how you're doing. It feels so one-sided. <laughs> All right. So you may want to block for tonight. Um, we're going to work hard tonight, do a lot of core stuff. Um, so I apologize in advance to myself and to you because I know I'm probably going to feel it tomorrow, but that's all right. We're going to get that fire started in our belly tonight. So a uh, gentle reminder, always listen to and respect your body. If it doesn't feel good or right in your body, don't do it. If you want to take a break at any point, please do that. Um, I might. <laughs> I guess I can't. Oh, well, um, I might, then we can all have a break. Um, yeah, I guess that's all I have. So nothing should hurt. If it hurts, don't do it. All right, so let's take a minute to get centered. So find an easy seated position. Imagine a string coming out the top of your head, lifting the spine long and straight. We're also going to want to remember to hold the belly in throughout class tonight. Keep that core engaged. I struggle with that. So if you hear me saying it a lot, it's probably because I'm trying to remind myself as well as you. <laughs> All right. So take a minute, lower your gaze or close your eyes. Connect with your breath without any effort to change it. Just imagine there's a light in your belly and each breath sort of stokes the fire in your core. So when I think about the core, I think about our sense of self, our core being, our core values, our gut instinct. So sort of our sense of self. So I invite you for a minute to think about what that means for you. Is there anything about your core that needs adjusting, tweaking, a little extra effort? And if so, maybe use that as your intention tonight. Welcome yourself to your practice.
Let's just take three long, slow, deep breaths together. Let's inhale through the nose and exhale audibly out the mouth. Either sigh it out or a big, heavy breath. So go ahead and exhale out the breath. Long, slow, inhale through the nose. Exhale out the mouth. Two more, your breath, your pace. Last one. Good. Resume normal breathing. Hold that intention that you set in your mind's eye. And we'll start moving a little bit. So let's inhale both arms up by the ears and we'll start with a little side bend. So the right hand comes to the outside on the right, left arm up by the left ear. Keep the left hip rooted. Lengthen that whole left side body and breathe. Your next inhale, come on back up through center. Exhale, side bend to the left. Keep the right hip rooted, draw that right shoulder back, breathing into the right side body. Loosen it up that spine. On your next inhale, come on back through center. Exhale, release the hands and let's bring the legs straight out in front like we're in staff pose. And we'll take a flowing twist here. So inhale, both arms up by the ears. Exhale, we're gonna twist to the right. Right hand comes behind, left hand to the outer right knee. Inhale, back through center. Exhale, twist left. Inhale through center, flow at your pace. Exhale, twist right. Inhale through center. Exhale, twist left. Keep the belly in. And let's take it one more time to each side. Back through center, relax the arms, and let's come into tabletop for a few rounds of cat cow. So I invite you to um, Let's inhale through the nose and exhale out the mouth in cat-cow here, just to release some uh, stagnant energy or breath or air, um, and really try to, and maybe even hold that exhale for a second after your exhale is complete. So shoulders over wrists, hips over knees, on an inhale, drop the belly, sit bones lift, widen the collarbone, chin lifts. Exhale out the mouth. Hold it. And then inhale for cow. Exhale out the mouth for cat. Hold the out breath. Couple more like that. Inhale for cow. Last one. Inhale for cow. And come back to neutral. Take the knees back just a little bit and we're just gonna lower all the way down onto our belly. 
And we're going to take the arms up by the ears, forehead rests on the floor. <laughs> and we're going to alternate lifting um, arms and legs. So inhale, let's lift the left arm, the right leg, and the head. Exhale, release it all to the earth. Inhale, lift the right arm, left leg, and the heart. Exhale, release. Inhale, lift left arm, right leg. Exhale, release. Right arm, right, left leg. Release. One more to each side. And interlace the fingers at the base of the spine. We're going to lift up to locust pose. So on an inhale, we lift the heart. The hands can come off the tushy. Legs lift. Take a few breaths here. And exhale, release. Bring the hands under the shoulders. And we're just going to bring it all the way back to child's pose. Keep the arms strong and active here. Almost like you're pushing down on the mat with your hands. <laughs> Good. Inhale. <clears throat> back through table. Tuck the toes under and lift the hips up to down dog. So maybe take a minute, walk your dog, lengthen that spine. Be aware of the side body, bring lots of length into the side body. Your waist, bring your awareness to your core. Slow, deep, even breaths. And then go ahead and lower the knees back down. We find ourselves back in table. And from here, we're going to extend that right leg straight back. And we're going to extend the left arm straight forward by the left ear. Engage your core, reaching in both directions, focusing on your strong center will help with your balance here. Good. On your next exhale, release that all down. Find your center again. And we'll take the other side. So the left leg extends straight back and the right arm extends out by the right ear. Breathe. Reaching in both directions. On your next exhale, release the hands back down and the leg. Tuck the toes under and lift the hips back up to down dog. Lift the sit bones up towards the sky. As you allow the heels to melt down any amount towards the mat. And then gently walk the hands nice and easy back towards the feet, landing in a forward fold. Bring as much bend into the knees as you like. Maybe the pinkies find the inside of your elbows. Hanging out in ragdoll. Good, release the hands, 
Bring a bend into the knee, draw the low belly in, and we're gonna roll up nice and slow. Up to stand, and I'm a headless yogi. Inhale the arms up by the ears, palms touch. We're gonna bring the thumbs to our third eye. Lower your gaze or close your eyes briefly. Connect with your intention. Good, then release the arms. Inhale the arms up by the ears. Exhale, hinge at the waist to come to forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Plant the hands. We're gonna come back to table. And then we're gonna take the knees back a little bit again and lower all the way to the earth. We're gonna extend the arms up by the ears, but this time see if you can bring the have the palms facing up. Same thing, we're gonna inhale the right arm and the left leg, lift it all up. Exhale, release. Inhale, left arm, right leg. Exhale, release. One more time, right arm, left leg lifts. Exhale, release. Inhale, left arm, right leg. Exhale, release. This time we're gonna try to lift everything up from here. So the arms stay where they're at. We're gonna inhale, lift it all up. Slow, deep breaths. Good. Exhale, release. Again, hands come under the shoulders. And we push it all the way back to a brief child's pose. Take a couple breaths there. Good, come on up, tuck the toes under. We're gonna lift the hips back up to down dog. <laughs> Inhale, the right leg lifts straight up and back. Exhale, knee into chest, shoulders over the wrist, step or help that right foot up by the right thumb. Lower that left knee. And then inhale the arms up for low lunge. Lower those hips. Take a couple breaths. And exhale, release the hands to frame the right foot. Lift that left knee and draw the right foot back to down dog. Other side, inhale, left leg straight up and back. Exhale, step it through or help it up there. Lower the right knee. Inhale it up for low lunge. Draw the belly in. Your next exhale, release the hands to frame that left foot. Again, lift the right knee, draw that right foot back to down dog. And we're gonna come forward into plank. So knees can be up or down here, but we're gonna hold this for about five breaths. Five slow, controlled breaths. Good, when you're finished, Lift the hips back up to down dog. 
Gently walk the hands back to the feet like we did before, landing in a forward fold. Bend into the knees, draw the belly in, round the back, roll it up nice and easy. Inhale, arms up by the ears, palms touch. Exhale, bring those thumbs to the third eye again, lower the gaze or close the eyes. Connect with your sense of self, your intention. And release the arms. Inhale the arms up by the ears. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold and walk the hands forward back to your down dog. Again, we're going to lower the knees and then lower all the way down back onto our belly. Arms extend up by the ears. And again, we're gonna lift it all up off the mat. So inhale, lift it up. Exhale like you're skydiving, wide arms, wide legs. Inhale, back to center. Exhale, release, forehead to hands. And we'll take that again. So arms extend. Inhale, lift it all up. Exhale, skydive. Inhale, extend. Exhale, release and rest the head. Good, then bring the hands under the shoulders and either take a cobra or up dog where just the hands and the tops of the feet are touching. And then as you're ready, however it works for you, lift those hips up to downward facing dog and breathe. All right, we're gonna add on to that. So inhale the right leg straight up and back. Exhale, step it through or help it up there. Lower that right leg. Inhale it up to low lunge. Exhale, lower it back down. Come back to kneeling. We're gonna extend that right leg back Left, left, left arm up by the left ear. And on an exhale, we draw it all in. So elbow to knee, knee to forehead, whatever works. Inhale, extend. Exhale, draw it in. Inhale, extend. Two more. Keep that belly strong. Good, inhale, extend, exhale, lower it down, tuck the toes under, and we're gonna lift the hips back up to down dog. Again, inhale that right leg, same leg, back and up, exhale, step it through, more towards the middle of your mat, Flatten that left foot. We're setting up for warrior two. So we're gonna lead with that left arm. Bring it up to warrior two. Find your center here. And then we're gonna take cow face, or uh, yeah, cow face arms. So we're gonna bring that right arm under the left and either hug yourself, backs of the hands together or the palms together. Keep bending into that right knee. Good, on your next exhale, extend the arms back out. And we're gonna cartwheel the arms back to frame that right foot. Pivot on those left toes. 
and draw that right leg back to down dog. And lower the knees, bring the hips back to child's pose. Take a couple breaths here. Good, come on back up. Tuck the toes under, we'll take that series on the other side. So we're back in down dog. Inhale, left leg up and back. Exhale, step it through, lower that right knee. Inhale for low lunge. Exhale, release the hands. Lift that right knee. Draw it back to down dog. And come back to table, extend the left leg back, right arm by the right ear, find your center, strong core, take a breath in, exhale, draw it in, inhale, extend, exhale, draw it in, inhale, extend, two more, you got this. Good, release the hands and the legs back down, tuck the toes under, lift those hips up. Inhale, left leg straight up and back. Exhale, step it through to the center. I'm gonna turn around. Flatten that right foot, heel to arch alignment. Lead with that right arm for warrior two on the left. Check your alignment. And now the left arm comes, left elbow under the right elbow, hands to shoulders, backs of hands or palms. Maybe lift the elbows up a little bit and breathe. Good, your next exhale, extend the arms back out. And cartwheel the hands back to frame that left foot, come up on the right toes, draw that left foot back to down dog. Lower the knees, hips come back to the heels. Take a break in child's pose or get a drink. Good. Go ahead and come on back up. We're going to take a modified plank. So bring the knees back a little bit. Lower those hips so that you feel the core engaged. And if you are feeling really strong tonight, we're going to do 10 push-ups. So if you're feeling real strong and want to do regular push-ups, go for it. My shoulder's still not good, so I'm doing modified push-ups. Go down a little or a lot. You do what works for you. Maybe you only do five. Maybe you do two. Do whatever works for you, but take 10 push-ups. Keep the elbows close into the body. Keep breathing. Good. When you're finished, come on back, sit back on the heels, and let's just take three rounds of lion's breath. So if you don't know what that is, it's an inhale through the nose, 
and then an audible like you're trying to make somebody smell your nasty onion breath or garlic breath. So it looks like this. <sighs> All right, so take three or four rounds of that breath on your own. Open that mouth, get all that stagnant air out. Good, how'd that feel? Hope it felt good. Go ahead and bring the hands forward, lift the hips back up to down dog. Root down through the base of your pointer and your thumb to protect your wrists. Let the neck relax. And again, gently walk the hands back towards the feet, landing in a forward fold. Knees bent if that feels good. Same thing, bend into the knees, draw the belly in, round the back, nice and slow, lift it up. And once you're up, inhale the arms up, palms touch. Exhale, thumbs to your third eye, lower your gaze or close your eyes, connect with your intention. Stir up the fire in your core, your sense of self. Flame the fire with your breath. Good, release the arms. Inhale the arms up by the ears. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift, exhale, forward fold. Bring a bend into your knees. We're gonna lift up to chair pose. We're gonna keep our hands in prayer and we're gonna take a twist here. So your options are to keep the right hand on your right hip, left hand to the outside of that left knee or perhaps you're in prayer, that left elbow hooks the right knee. Wherever you are, hang out there and breathe. Maybe you extend the arms, the right arm up to the sky, left arm down and breathe. Then release the arms, come back to prayer and chair. And then stand up and shake it all out. Shake the arms, shake the legs, loosen it all up. Look silly because nobody's watching you. All right, then we'll take that on the other side. So let's bring the hands to prayer. We're gonna bend the knees to sit back into our chair pose. And your options, twist, or twist in prayer. Maybe you open the arms up, maybe not. Good, come on back to a prayer pose and chair. And stand it up, inhale the arms up by the ears, exhale, forward fold, inhale, halfway lift, exhale, forward fold, plant the hands and step the feet back to downward facing dog. Good, bring your toes together. 
And we're going to let the heels fall off to the right. Lower the hips any amount, coming into a side plank. Right arms down, left arm extends up, and breathe. Keep that belly strong and the hips lifted. Good. Release that left hand back down. Come back to your down dog. Take a couple breaths. Good, bring the toes together, let the heels fall over to the left, lower the hips. This is the side I can't do so well because of my shoulder, so I'm gonna lower my left knee. Inhale the right arm up and breathe. Good, exhale that right hand down, come back to your plank and lift the hips up to down dog. Good, lower the knees. We're gonna lower down onto the belly again. We're gonna take that same skydiving flow twice. So the arms are up by the ears. Let your air out. On an inhale, lift it all up. Exhale, skydive, everything's wide. Inhale, back together. Exhale, rest the forehead. And again, arms extend forward. Let your air out. Inhale, lift it all up. Exhale, skydive. Inhale to center, exhale, rest. Good, bring the hands back under the shoulders, either cobra, cobra, or up dog. Exhale, back up to down dog. All right, so we're gonna keep going here. Inhale the right leg up and back. Exhale, knee into chest, step that right foot through. We're gonna come up to high lunge so the hands can come to that right knee or arms up. And we're gonna take another twist here. So same options, right hand to the right hip, left hand to the outer right knee and twist or hook the elbow. Left elbow on that right knee. Breathe. And then release the hands to frame that right foot. And we're gonna work to straighten that right leg for a pyramid pose. So go ahead and halfway lift, reach the crown of the head straight out in front, then fold any amount over that right leg and hang out and breathe. Bend back into that right knee, flatten the hands. We're gonna bring that right leg all the way back and up. And then we're gonna take a three leg down dog so that right knee bends, the left foot, I mean the right foot is out to the left. Almost like we're stacking the right hip on top of the left. Good, then inhale the right leg straight back and up. And then we're gonna bring that knee to the forehead coming into a bit of a plank. Inhale, lift it back up. Exhale, knee into the chest, but we're gonna imagine we're bringing that right knee to the right tricep and then down to the right wrist. 
back up to the tricep and come on back to down dog. Woo! I can tell I haven't done yoga in a minute. <laughs> Good. All right, other side. So we're going to inhale that left leg straight up and back. Exhale, knee into chest. Step it through or help it up there. Coming up for high lunge. Hands to that left knee or arms straight up. Find your center, your core, and pick your twist. Slow, deep breaths. And release the hands to frame that left foot and gently walk that, or work that left leg straight or towards straight. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold any amount over that straight left leg. And then go ahead and re-bend the left leg, plant the hands, and draw that left leg all the way back and up. And get a good hip opener here. Bend that left knee. Left foot comes to the right. Left hip stacked on the right. And inhale, extend it back up. Exhale, knee to forehead. Inhale, back up. Here we go. You got this. Exhale, left knee to left tricep, down to the left wrist, back up to the left tricep, and back to down dog. And then go ahead and lower the knees, bring the hips back to the heels. This time, let the arms be soft, relax. We'll start pulling down here. Good, walk the hands back, lift the torso up. Take the hips to the side of your feet. And we'll come into cobbler pose. So bring the soles of the feet together. Maybe take your fluff and lift it back so you really feel the sit bones rooted into the earth. Lengthen the spine like we did at the beginning of class. Lift the crown of the head up towards the ceiling. Allow the shoulders to melt down. And then find any kind of forward fold that feels nice to you tonight. It can also feel nice to have the arms extended forward. Maybe the hands are holding the feet. Maybe your arm forearms. Maybe you have a block. Let everything be soft and relaxed. Good. Go ahead and walk yourself back up. Grab your block or your book. And we're going to roll down onto our back, however you want to get there. Knees stay bent. Feet flat on the earth. This is where you're going to want to take your book or your block and place it between your thighs. Squeezing the legs together. Not real hard, but 
little gentle pressure on that block. And we're gonna take a little flow here. So we're gonna lift the hips up to bridge pose, bring the arms up over by the ears. Exhale, lower it back down. And then we're gonna bring the arms, inhale the arms back by the ears and we'll take a little crunch here. So on an exhale, we lift the shoulders up off the earth, arms come out by the knees. Inhale, release it back down. Bring the arms back to the hips. That doesn't flow very well, does it? Let's play with that. So inhale to bridge pose. Maybe we'll leave the arms here. I think that'll be better. Exhale, release the hips down to the earth. Take a breath in. Exhale for our little crunch and leave the arms down on by your hips. Yeah, I think that works better. All right, inhale to bridge, arms up by the ears. Exhale, release the hips to the earth. In, inhale, exhale, crunch it up and release it all down. Let's do that one more time. Sorry, I figured that out as we went tonight. <laughs> all right, here we go. Inhale, bridge. Arms up by the ears. Exhale, lower the hips. Inhale. Exhale, crunch. Inhale, release it all down. Cool. You can take your block out. And let's just bring our arms kind of to cactus arms and let's just wiper the knees side to side. Good, then go ahead and let the knees fall all the way over to the right. We'll take a little recline twist here. So option to stay just like this or that right foot can come up onto that left knee to intensify that stretch a little bit. So you do what works for you. Maybe take the gaze out over the left shoulder. Let your body be heavy and soft. Good. If the right foot is on that left knee, go ahead and unhook it. Draw the low belly in, bring the knees back through center. Find your center again. And let both knees fall over to the left. Stay just like this if that feels good. Or you can hook that left foot on top of the right knee to intensify it. You do what you want. Gaze out over that right shoulder. the left foot is up on the right knee, go ahead and release it. Bring the knees back up through center. And we're going to do, um, I'm going to put my sacrum on a block, but you, if you want to take yourself to the wall for legs up the wall, you can do that. Otherwise, you can bring that block under your sacrum and then lift the legs straight up to the ceiling. Let the arms be heavy. Feel yourself supported. You can make some circles with your ankles if that feels nice.
or just settle into stillness here. Lower your gaze or close your eyes. Notice how your body's feeling without expectation and without judgment. And then just bend the knees and we're going to hug that. So we're going to leave the block where it is. Hug that right knee in towards the chest. Option to put the left foot flat on the floor with that left knee bent. Or you might want to play with seeing what it feels like to extend that left leg straight out while you hug the right knee in. If that's too much and you don't want to use the block, don't use the block. No biggie. Slow, deep, even breaths. If the left leg is straight, go ahead and re-bend it. Let go of that right knee. Hug the left knee in. Keep the right knee bent or extend it out. Still allowing that breath to stir your fire. Bend that right knee, release the left knee, push down in the earth with your feet to lift the hips up, remove your block or your book or your pillow, whatever you have under you, release the hips down, hug the knees into the chest, go ahead and lift the forehead up towards the knees, give yourself a nice squeeze. And relax the head and just rock up and back a couple times before we take Shavasana. So just kind of massage that whole spine a little bit. Good. Release it all down. Settle yourself into Shavasana. Take up some space, let the feet flop open, palms up, arms away from the body. The head rests heavy on your mat. The whole body is very heavy. Feel the effects of the class integrating into your body. Lower your gaze or close your eyes. Scan the body. Notice if you're holding tension anywhere. If so, direct the breath to those places, allowing them to soften. Authenticity is your birthright. 
In fact, we have a responsibility to our soul to let our true self be seen. There is nothing you need to hide behind. No part of you that needs to stay in the dark, even your darkness. Let every single little piece of you be seen. Know the parts that need shifting and the ones that make up the core essence of magnificent, wonderful you. Intimately know them all and feel shame about none of them. Each is an integral part and absolutely necessary to the evolution of your soul. That's your work. It's what you were put on this earth to do. Let nothing dull your shine. We'll have a couple minutes of silence and then I will cue you out. Gently begin to deepen your breath. Bring some small movements to your fingers and to your toes. As you're ready, reach the arms up by your ears. Give yourself a big stretch in both directions. Reach. Let the arms relax down to the earth. Bend the knees or hug the knees in, roll off to either side, allowing your arm to be a pillow for your head, landing in this fetal position to savor a few breaths here in the space between. Keeping the gaze lowered or the eyes closed, go ahead and push into the earth with your hands to bring yourself back up to an easy seated position. And once there, we'll press the palms together. Let's bring the thumbs to the third eye one more time to connect with your intention, your authenticity. 
stoke that fire in your belly one last time. Lower the hands to the heart center. Thank yourself for showing up tonight on your mat. And we express deep gratitude to these bodies of ours for moving as perfectly as they did. My soul honors your soul. I commend the place in you where the spirit resides. I admire the place in you that is of love, light, truth, and peace because it's also within me. And in sharing these things, we are united. We are one. Namaste. Thank you guys. Good to be back. I hope y'all have a wonderful week and I will see you next Wednesday. Take care all. Ah!